welcome to study tube this is the first lecture on digital electronics digital electronics is the field of electronics which deals with the digital signal so today we will start our journey in digital electronics with number system number system defines a set of values that is used to represent a quantity there are many types of number system in digital electronics first of all we will learn about base or radix of the number system so what is base or radix in a number system the radix or base is the number of unique digits including the digit 0 used to represent numbers so when you are representing one number how many unique digits you can use in a number system that number is your radix or base from childhood we are using numbers that number is decimal number so in decimal number system we are using 10 unique digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so there are 10 unique digits so for decimal number system the base or radix if we denote base or radix as r then base or radix of decimal number system is 10 and what are the digits digits are 0 1 2 up to 9 so if the base is r then the digit starting from 0 goes up to r minus 1 now we have a data 125 and after 125 there is written 10 here 10 is the base or radix so this is a decimal number in this number 125 the digit 5 is at unique place digit 2 is at tens place and digit 1 is at hundreds place so from this we can say that 125 equal to 1 into 10 square 10 square means 100 plus 2 into 10 to the power 1 so 2 into 10 plus 5 into 10 to the power 0 means 5 into 1 so it is equal to 100 plus 20 plus 5 now we have a data a b c and the base is 10 so it is also a decimal number in which a b and c are three unique digit so from this point we can say that c is at unique place b is at tens place and a is at hundred place so we can represent this number as c into 10 to the power 0 plus b into 10 to the power 1 plus a into 10 to the power 2 now the same data a b c and a b and c are three unique digit in base r means this is not a decimal number in a number system whose base is r so we can represent abc base r as c into r to the power 0 plus b into r to the power 1 plus a into r to the power 2 so if we compare these two equation then in the first equation the base was 10 so it was 10 to the power 0 then 10 to the power 1 into b then 10 to the power 2 into a in the second equation the base 10 is here r so 10 is replaced by r in this total equation so from this we can say that for the base r system the least significant position 
means the position of C has a weight of r to the power 0 or 1. And the higher significant positions are given weights in the ascending powers of R. B has a weight of r to the power 1, A has a weight of r to the power 2. So it is in the ascending powers of R. Now we move to the number system part. As I already told, there are many types of number system. So first one is binary number system. So in binary number system, there is two unique digits. So the base is 2 and what are the unique digits 0 to r minus 1 so here r is 2 so 0 and 1 are the unique digit an example of binary number system is 100110 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. so here you can see only digit 0 and 1 is used and the base is 2 now the next number system decimal number system we all know the decimal number system there are 10 digits so base is 10 and the digits are 0 to 9 and example we used in daily life 78 and the base is 10 now the next number system is octal number system in octal number system there are 8 unique digits so the base is 8, digits are 0, 1, 2, up to 7. An example of octal number system is 247, 247. So the in octal number system, the data should have digit between 0 to 7. Okay, there is no possibility of 8 and 9. And the base is 8. Now the next number system is hexadecimal number system. Here the base is 16 because there are 16 unique digits. And what are the digits? 0 starting from 0 up to 16 minus 1, 15. So the digits are this. But here you can see that after 9, the digits are A, B, C, D, E, and F. But why not 10, 11, 12 like that? Because you can see 10. Here, here in 10, there are two digits, 1 and 0. And 0 and 1 are a unique digit we have already taken. So, for this reason, 10 cannot be taken as unique digits because it is already used. So in hexadecimal number system, this 10 is represented as A, 11 as B, 12 as C, 13 as D, 14 as E, and 15 as F. Now the example of hexadecimal number system. A 4 B. So you can see that the digit A 4 and B belong to hexadecimal number system and the base is 16. I hope in this video you understood base or radix of the number system. In the next video you will learn how to find base or radix of a number. So if you have any question or suggestion related to this topic, then do let me know in the comment section and subscribe the channel for more digital electronics content.